say you're in law school, maybe you're 18 years old, in your early 20s, and you basically just follow what other people are doing. Uh, maybe your peers just got an internship at an international law firm You also want to apply to the same firm because you don't want to fall behind Or maybe you came across someone's profile on LinkedIn and you see that they have a very successful legal career You want to follow the exact same path they have been walking Looking back at my law school years uh, There were a couple of things I could have done differently or I could have made less mistakes so that my career journey would have been more straightforward uh, if you're watching this video, if you're a bit lost now and you're not sure what you're doing with your law school, you don't know whether you actually want to be a lawyer, you don't know what uh, particular opportunity you should get in order to achieve your goal, then this video is definitely for you. When it comes to law school, the first thing we think about is grades. Because, uh, let's be honest here, if you don't get a decent grade or at least a 2-1, people look at your grade quite harshly. So if you get a bad grade, I would say your journey is definitely more difficult. I remember in my first year of law school, I studied very hard, but I got a really bad grade and I didn't know why. So the first lesson I learned from my law school years is that study smart, don't study hard. When you're in law school, many people will tell you that you need to spend hours and hours making notes, reading cases so that you can perform well in examinations, get a good grade, etc. That is not entirely true because in practice, what you need to figure out is the right method to study. You could have studied 10 hours every day, but you may not necessarily perform well in examination if you don't know the right method to study. The first thing you need to figure out in law school is to know what study method suits you. Some people in law school, they perform better when they work with other students. And that's actually a very efficient way of studying as well. Because, because imagine some people, they will spend hours and hours studying uh, the law by themselves. They may end up losing a lot of time. However, if you collaborate with other law students and you make notes together, each and every one of you may spend a few hours every day to do that. You save a lot of time. I remember during my law school, I tended to study everything by myself. I tended to make notes on my own. I recommend you to try to gather together a group of maybe two to four people you really trust or you're closer with and so that you guys can make notes together for examination purposes so that you can maybe each one of you is assigned to a specific topic so that they will make notes on that topic so that at the end of the semester you will gather together a, a set of notes written by uh, everyone if you want to know more about the right study method check out this video i made in the parts i gave you all the tips uh, that i figure out later in my law school that helped me ace law school examinations the second thing i wish i could have done is to try to invest in my career earlier I remember in my first year of law school, I actually had no idea what I should do. It's my first year, I probably don't need to care that much about my career, right? I just need to figure out law school, focus on my academic performance, then things will work out if I have a good grade, isn't it? But it's not true, because at the end of the day, your career is not only about your grade in law school, it's about uh, the efforts you make to actually network with other people, to find the right opportunities for you. Maybe you want to be a lawyer, maybe not, whether you want to go into another path. I think the earlier you try to figure it out, the better. And for me, I literally did nothing in my first year of law school except studying, and I didn't even get a good grade. It was such a shame, and I would have probably tried to approach law firms get some informal work experiences and you don't even need to get legal work experiences necessarily because in law firms in London for example they care a lot about your non-legal work experiences as well so the fact is actually you need to try out as many different things as possible I remember literally in the summer of my first year of law school I just sat at home watching Netflix every single day. I hang out with friends, I have fun to be honest. However, right now when I look back, I could have spent a little bit more time on trying to figure out what I want to do with my career early in my first year of law school. And the third thing uh, I wish I could have done uh, during my law school uh, was to actually follow my heart and really think carefully what I want to do but not what other people want me or expect me to do. I think this is very common because when you got into law school, a lot of law students, and they're all very competitive. They all have big goals, big dreams. When you speak to any one of them, they would, you know, some of them may tell you they want to be a judge, they want to work in that big 
massive international law firm that only take maybe 10 people. You immediately feels like it's so intimidating and it's so, there's so much pressure for you to succumb to that expectation. And I think that's very common in the law industry, especially if you're first, second year law students, you have no idea what you want to do, but everyone keeps telling you what they want to do. And you may automatically assume that that's also your goal and that's exactly what you want to do as well. But that's a lie. That's a massive lie that you try to convince yourself that you find your calling, but it's definitely not true. So what I really want you to do in your law school is to trial different experiences and genuinely assess whether that kind of experiences is what you're looking for. I just want to tell you, you don't need to immediately find your dream job right after you graduate from law school. When I was in Hong Kong in my law school, many people told me they wanted to get into that international law firm in Hong Kong. So I automatically felt like, oh, that was something, the ultimate goal that I should aim at. But that kind of thinking actually limits my career options. And that's something that you shouldn't do. If I listened to all those people's opinions or I followed everyone else's path, I wouldn't end up in London now and uh, working as a lawyer at a law firm here, which is a firm that I actually like. I only got the courage to pursue what I want when I was in my final year of law school because I realized that none of the paths other people uh, were following actually fit me. So stop listening to what everyone else is telling you because they are not you. They couldn't think in your shoes because they don't have your passion. They don't have your personalities. They will never understand what you really want. And the only one that can understand what you want is yourself. And the fourth thing I wish I could have done in my law school, that was a very specific one. I really should have taken that internship at an investment bank back in Hong Kong. Ever since I've come to the UK, I realized that how important it is to actually have different kinds of experiences, especially in the financial services industry, because those experiences really make you stand out in your job application. I remember I got this opportunity when I was in my third year of law school to work at an international investment bank uh, to intern there for three to four months, but I turned it down. You know, if I have done that particular internship at the investment bank, I would say I could have um, increased my chance of success in my early stages of my job applications in the UK. I would have had more experiences to tell to the recruiter when I was in interview. I basically just didn't take that chance and I really kind of regret it later on, especially when I was job hunting. This video was basically just me uh, ranting about how bad my decisions were uh, in the past years. So I just try to give you guys a lesson uh, so that you won't make the same mistakes I did. If you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and that will give me a lot of motivation to keep making videos for you guys as well. And if you speak Cantonese or Chinese by any chance, also follow my uh, Chinese channel as well, which I also talk about lots of topics my, and my experience working as a lawyer in the UK. And I'll see you guys again in the next video and Stay safe and healthy and achieve your goals, make your own history. Bye.